Good morning, everyone. My name is Bujum Asafian. I am the business developer of Green Al, a startup that turns waste to energy. So our mission and our vision is to provide um, safe and sustainable energy to African cities, uh, but also recycling uh, waste. Two problems, major problems that are facing African Africa are energy insecurity, but also uh, waste management. So what we developed uh, in Green Al, I'm trying to make this work. Come on, next. Yes, so what we developed in Green Al is uh, a new uh, biodigester based on more than seven years research and a PhD thesis uh, with a higher e with the uh, higher efficiency in producing biogas. I'm trying to do this. So this is how it started. It started in a, in a southern city in Algeria called Taman Rasset. And it's around 2,000 kilometers south of Algiers. We are closer to Mali than to Tunis, just to give you a, a bit uh, where it's located. So. Uh, the, the researcher, Noel, the founder, actually developed a biodigester that was, the main idea was it would be a domestic use, easy to set up and uh, to transport. But also, our unfair advantage is the, the IP protected accelerator uh, of, uh, of production, of biogas production. It's based on bacteria that enhances the production of biogas of more than 50%. So it's uh, as easy to set up as uh, to set up a tent. So if you can do it, you can you can set it up. We are uh, we have also you you set up the biodigester, you add uh, organic waste, and you have uh, biogas produced in less than one week. And then uh, there is also byproduct, which is a biofertilizer going out. So you can also reuse it uh, to fertilize your uh, your lands. Oh, we are targeting. Isolated houses, uh, schools, but also uh, farmers and also NGOs working in Africa. A huge market, more than $240 billion uh, market in Africa. Uh, what differentiates what different us sorry, uh, is that we have a domestic use, easy to set up, but also our accelerator of production called Green Al. Our business model is based on selling the kit which is, uh, that looks like this, but also selling the accelerator. And we are also looking to develop a new business model ba based on carbon credit. Today, we made uh, more than $40,000 uh, in uh, 2021, uh, looking to be a $1 million uh, revenue in, in the next two years. And we are uh, targeting uh, African markets. So uh, our roadmap is to develop new uh, partnership with uh, technological uh, companies uh, to develop the, uh, the, the carbon credit business model, but also uh, to raise funds to go uh, outside of Algeria. Yes? Yeah, uh, I went too far. Okay. So what we're looking for is fundraising. We're looking for more than $150,000. Uh, industrial partnership with biogas companies, but also uh, carbon credit expert to develop the new business model. This is the great team. So there is Nawal, the founder. She's a researcher uh, based in Algeria. She has with her uh, also other researchers working with her. Then there is uh, me as a business developer, but also uh, engineering team uh, for the production of the kit. And we have an advisor who's also our first uh, angel investor in the startup. And thank you very much. Yeah, I'm good in time. Can you tell us a little bit more about your unit economics? Yeah. So um, the uh, one uh, the kit costs around uh, six hundred uh, dollars. There's other one bigger that costs one thousand uh, dollars. And then uh, for the, the accelerator, it uh, it's costs around $7 for one liter. And, and are you planning to have any financing options for uh, the isolated houses? Well, yeah, that's something we're, we're looking for, true, truly. Uh, but we started selling the, uh, the kits, and then we look for, forward for that. But yes, that's something we're, we're, we're trying to, uh, to think about. It. Yeah, just as a kind of follow-up question, because I myself run an energy-focused uh, incubator based uh, in Togo, and we have a lot of green gas solutions that have been developed. And indeed, one of the main uh, 
uh, challenges that the entrepreneurs are facing is like the purchase power of uh, the, the client. So I saw that you had a 40,000 uh, turnover in 2021. Yes. Um, can I ask you like h how much was from, um, you know, individual customers, how much from uh, professionals? So just, so okay, so um, to answer you, uh, today the $40,000 uh, revenue were made not in, uh, in our houses, but more in farmers and schools uh, in Nigeria, because uh, we signed uh, clients, one of the NGOs that uh, bought uh, um, our kit for, for, for isolated schools, so they can uh, answer it in the cooking uh, process, but also farmers. So um, the, the, the isolated uh, houses represent for now around 5%. The farmers around 60% and 35% uh, is uh, from schools. But this is uh, last year's uh, records. And we're looking to, uh, of course, enhance the, the isolated houses. But the farmers keep being uh, the most important uh, target for us. Okay, and so you mentioned the um, uh, carbon uh, credit. credit carbon mechanism. Is that something that you intend to apply to farmers or may, no, may we the, have more details about that? Yeah, so the carbon credit business model is based on uh, selling carbon credits to, to companies. So that's why we are looking to sell our carbon credits to, uh, to other bigger companies in the industry. Uh, and that's why to be honest, we're not uh, um, we not ha have the enough resources uh, in that uh, field. So that's why I said we are looking for experts in that. But um, from all the process we, s we followed, everyone said you need to go for carbon credits. So that's for sure. And we're following that. So we are looking for expertise for that to develop that. But that's something to develop with um, uh, industrials, not farmers. So any credit? carbon expert in the room. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, I, I guess what I wanted to say in my question is, but you answered it, is that where do you plan on uh, like creating the most savings? Is that with farmers or with, in, so yeah. it's with industry? It would be, it would okay. be uh, with the industry. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the pitch. Uh, a question regarding, I believe you said you're going to be focusing mostly on farmers. Uh, this yes. stage. Uh, can you explain a little bit more what your acquisition uh, strategy is essentially with these farmers, how you plan on reaching them and convincing them with your model? Well, um, our the one of the our, uh, strength in the kit is, is really easy to use. So uh, in all the African countries that we're uh, targeting, it would be resellers and not uh, uh, partners to deploy or something. So we're looking for resellers. That's the first point. Because as, as, as long as you sell the, the kit, the farmer can install it by itself. So that's why uh, some of the funds we're looking for, it would be for, uh, to market the, for marketing the, the product, but mainly to develop resellers that can uh, sell it uh, in, uh, in their countries. Can you tell us about your waste collection processes? Well, actually, we don't collect wastes. That's the job of the uh, of the person that uses the uh, the kit. But we support them with uh, with a manual, with videos, with uh, with with um, advices on how to be more efficient uh, on their uh, waste collection. But the waste that they can use, they can be food waste, but also animals waste. And that's something we really want to, to enhance because uh, going back to, to statistics about pollution, today uh, farming and animals uh, pollute a lot. That's about 14% of world uh, pollution, more than the transport industry. I think time is up. <laughs> Thank you so much.